Is the iPad a computer? Well, that's what Apple's trying to get across with their newest marketing, and it now has mouse support with iOS 13.4. So, let's take a look. So what I have here is my late 2019 iPad Pro 11 inch. It's running the iOS version 13.4, which is the newest version available. Now the iPad is very powerful. It's got a ton of applications, a ton of games, a ton of productivity apps. So in regards to what it can do, it can pretty much do a lot of things that maybe a netbook or less powerful computer can do. However, the iPad itself is also really powerful thanks to the chip that Apple makes and ships with the iPads. What mouse I'm using today is the Logitech MX Master 2, and this one here has multiple profiles on the bottom. The first one is set to my iMac, the second one is what I'm going to be using for the iPad, and then I've got a third one, you know, just for whatever. So basically all you need to do is have a working Bluetooth mouse and an iPad which is running 13.4 for the iOS version, and it does also have to be one of the newer iPads as well. Unfortunately this isn't going to work with some of the older iPads or some older mice as well. From there it's very simple. So once you've got your iPad and your mouse all set up and ready to go, all you then need to do is basically pair it like any other Bluetooth device. Head into Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on. For me my MX Master does have an on and off switch and the profile switch down the bottom as well. You can see that two is selected, it then pops up, I can then click on pair and I'm pretty much set and ready to go. Once everything's all connected, you can then see that if I start to move the mouse around, I then have basically a little cursor, which is this little grey dot that you can see on the screen here, to move around the OS. Now it is very responsive, if I go down to the home button, I can then swipe to go home for example, and just moving around, going into any applications, clicking around, right click, left click, scrolling, everything works perfectly fine. So why is this important that you can use a mouse with the newest iPads? Well, one of the main reasons is Apple is also coming out of their own magic keyboard for the 12.9 inch and the 11 inch iPad very shortly. However, that's going to be £299 for the 11 inch version and £349 for the 12.9 inch version. In some cases, if you can get an iPad Pro second hand, the price of that magic keyboard is nearly half the price that you would pay for the entire iPad itself, which is a little bit much. Something like the MX Master that I'm using here, or even even the newer version is only going to be around 79 to 99 pounds or you can get some Bluetooth mice that are going to be way cheaper so that's definitely something to keep in mind. Now one thing I would say is it's not perfect if I click on the search bar here in Chrome for example normally if you were to tap on the screen it would bring up the keyboard but for some reason it doesn't work when you click it with the mouse which can be a little bit of an annoyance so what you then have to do is click in the search bar yourself and then it will eventually bring up the keyboard and you can type away as normal. Now don't get me wrong, chances are if you're going to be using a mouse with your iPad, you're probably going to be using a Bluetooth keyboard as well, so again that's definitely something to keep in mind. However, if I just head over to a random website here for example, you can see that once I actually start to use it with the touchscreen, I can then easily switch back to the mouse without any trouble at all. As you can see here, scrolling around the actual page itself is very simple and works exactly as you would expect it to like any other mouse or keyboard combination. Now again, if you want to highlight any text or anything, if I go to some darker text here for example, you can highlight text, copy and paste it, anything that you need to do, again it's all very simple and very easy to do. Once I then head back to the home screen here, again just moving around the OS, you can then go into games folders or anything else you've got on your home screen, but unfortunately mouse support does not yet work with games. So if you want to play Call of Duty for example, Fortnite, PUBG, none of that is going to work with mouse support at the moment, but I have an inkling that that may be something that comes down the line. I can imagine using the iPad Pro with Fortnite 120 frames a second with a wireless mouse and keyboard attached, I think that would be a really nice on the go gaming experience. And it's also not perfect in the sense that I still personally prefer instead of using a mouse, just going ahead and touching the iPad itself. For me, tapping, scrolling, moving things around using my finger is a little bit easier than the mouse at the moment. Now don't get me wrong, the mouse has only just been introduced into iPadOS, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. But for me, the way that the iPadOS is laid out, unlike the Mac for example, it is very much touch focused. And that also shows in regards to how the mouse works on screen, it's not necessarily as simple or as easy as you would expect it to be. One thing that I would say is when you move the mouse cursor around, as you can see it actually sometimes attaches or kind of magnetizes to different parts of the OS. 
if I just jump into the screen recorder here, I'm just going to throw up on screen some live screen recording of the actual iPad itself and just show you some of the quirks of how the actual mouse itself works. So I've got the mouse cursor here, which is the little grey dot as you can see just here. But if I do start to actually move it around, what it's going to do is start to kind of maybe magnetize or move over to certain icons. It's not me moving the mouse over the actual icon 100%, but sometimes it comes in handy. If I go up to the battery percentage, for example, to bring down control center, again, you can see just how that works. If I click on the home button, you can see that the mouse actually shapes itself to the home button so that you know exactly where you're going to be clicking. Now, don't get me wrong, in some instances, this does actually feel quite nice, but in some other instances, you may just be hovering around something, and then it may just switch straight over onto the actual button or something that you might be close to, which you may not want it to. Again, if I head into a third-party application at Google Docs, for example, you can see here that it doesn't change the cursor to then actually show basically where you want to start typing, which again, it does in certain applications. If we're going to Chrome, go into the search bar, you can see here that it changes the cursor to match the search bar and again it has a nice little animation to it but it does have that magnetized feel which some people that are really used to maybe a trackpad or a mouse may not like but in all honesty using the mouse with the ipad does in my opinion feel like the future of ipad os now i'm starting to think that moving forward they are going to have something maybe like a mac with a touch screen which would be really awesome to see however a lot of people that have windows laptops which have touch screens on them have pretty much said they don't really use the touchscreen functionality, which I kind of understand. If you're having to actually stretch your arm out, press on the screen, it's gonna be moving around a ton. That might not be something that you're into. However, something like the iPad with a dedicated touchscreen may be a little bit nicer to use in conjunction with a mouse while also reaching up to touch the screen itself. And also just quick, a way cheaper alternative to the Magic Keyboard for the iPad is just by using a folio case so you can stand up your iPad. I've then got my mouse. I then also have a Bluetooth keyboard. This one just happens to be the Magic Keyboard for my iMac. But again, if I wanna pair it with the iPad, then I've got a really nice setup for on the go. If I wanna do any Word documents or editing of any sort, for example, I've got the option to do so. And if you guys wanna see me try and use an iPad as my main computer, for pretty much everything, so photo editing, video editing, any email or anything that I need to do, let me know in the comment section down below and I will set myself that challenge and try and use the iPad for, let's say, a week or two as my main only computer. And that's going to do it guys for this video on using a mouse with the iPad Pro. Now one thing that I want to know in the comments down below is if this is something that you would be into if you've got an iPad and if you've got a Bluetooth mouse. Now for me this is definitely something that I'm going to be trying moving forward. The fact that my MX Master Mouse switches between those profiles so easily means it's something I'm actually going to use on maybe quite a regular basis. Switching from my iMac straight down to my iPad is very simple to do. Now don't get me wrong you can also use the the iPad as a second screen to the iMac but if I want to do something out and about and on the go but I do need a mouse for precision then again I would now have the option to do so and it's also going to be way cheaper than getting that magic keyboard for £349 or £299 so again that's definitely something that I'm a huge fan of in regards to maybe saving money or just an alternative to something that Apple may be shipping. Now don't get me wrong the magic keyboard from Apple does look really nice it has a really nice hinge to it and just in general the way that it works feels exactly like a Mac. You've got the gestures of a trackpad for example and don't forget that this will also work with just a standard trackpad if you've got one lying around for example. You don't have to use a mouse, anything that you can use as a pointer on your screen you can use on the iPad so don't forget. And that's going to do it guys for this video. Now if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up down below. If you've got any questions or comments about how the mouse works with the iPad or any troubleshooting, let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. Now I've also found out recently that over 90% of viewers currently watching this video aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you're notified anytime that I post a new video here on the channel channel. I've got a ton of awesome content coming up very shortly, getting back into Android customization, iOS, anything to do with Apple, Android, and also just other little tech bits on the side. So again, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications moving forward. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.